after two games and also the challenge of the journey that lies ahead for the team? The first thing that, that comes to mind for me is just the fact that, you know, these teams are experienced. They've you know spent a lot of time together. Um, and we are still working at becoming a team, uh, still getting our legs under us, getting in shape. And, you know, it's we're not just going to come out here, roll the ball out and beat these teams. Uh, we got to play the right way, compete, and we got to come out here to win and do everything to give ourselves, you know, our best chance to win. If we don't, we can be beat. So uh, that's the that's the number one thing that's, that stood out to me after these first two. Could I ask the same question to you, Coach? What's the first thing that comes to your mind right now? Why does he get two questions? It's a joke. Okay. Um, Damien's right on it. Tim Reynolds with the AP. Pop, what, what were the areas that you saw some improvement tonight? And uh, I, I was pleased. I thought we got better tonight. Uh, you know, after a short time together, there's a lot of things that have to be covered. Uh, but the first half and the second half were two different beasts. In the first half, uh, we defended the way we wanted to defend, the way we did not defend against Nigeria. We were more physical. Uh, we sustained the defense longer. We rebounded better. We moved the ball better at the offensive end and had more pace. In the second half, uh, we tired out. And when that happens, you know, you get hit mentally a little bit too. And we didn't sustain the board the same way. The defense wasn't the same. Our pace wasn't the same. So, you know, we got to get some guys that have to get their legs and rhythm back. But in general, you know, we need more conditioning, which is totally understandable. And we're just sticking with the process of trying to get better with every game. Uh, and we did that tonight. So I was pleased with, uh, with what I saw. You had the four practices last week. This week, it's pretty much game, 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 game. How right. tough is it going to be to get that conditioning? I mean, you don't have a lot of practice time before you get on the plane. Well, you know, you, you deal with what's there. And, you know, we, we can't change that. So, uh, you know, talking to the guys during timeouts and uh, making them understand how we have to play and what the good is, what the bad is, watching film tomorrow. Uh, we just, you know, get smarter and get in better condition. And then we have an opportunity to do something very good. Joel Varden from The Athletic. Uh, Damian, I know that Coach has been uh, preaching this about how much better the rest of the world has gotten over the years. Um, but in this being your first Team USA experience uh, in the Olympics and that sort of thing, what's it like for you to have having um, watched your colleagues uh, go through some of these tournaments and, and blow these teams out, and now you are kind of experiencing um, a, a much different, much closer, tougher experience? It is different. I mean... In the past, when I've watched, you'll see one one guy on another on a, a different team that is in a rotation in the NBA, and then they might have a guy on the bench that um, is just on a team. And now you go out there, and the whole starting five is you know from NBA teams, and they are rotation players. So um, that's something that's that stood out to me. Um, but it's also not the first time that I've seen uh, Team USA be tested. You know, maybe not beat two times in a row, but. Um, I've seen it before. And like you said, these other teams and these other countries just continue to improve. Uh, these players, they, they get better, they get more confident, and they also, you know, they want to beat us badly. So um, it's definitely noticeable when you're on the floor. You know, oh, good. You're done. Let me, let me also answer that question. You know, you asked the same sort of question, the same family of question last time, uh, where you assume things that are not true. When you just mentioned, you know, blowing these teams out, that's never happened. So I don't know where you get that. So, can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish my statement? Can I, can I finish my statement? When you talk. You just told me that it's not true. And I'm telling you your average margin. Are you going to let me finish my statement or not? So you'll be quiet now while I talk. And then I'll listen to you. When you make statements about. In the past, just blowing out these other teams. Number one, you give no respect to the other teams. And I talked to you last time about the same thing. We've had very close games against four or five countries in all these tournaments. So the good teams do not get blown out. 
there are certain games that might happen in one of the tournaments in the world championship, the Olympics where somebody gets blown out, but in general, nobody's blowing anybody out for the good teams. So when you make a statement like that, it's like you assume that's what's going on and that's incorrect. Um, Chris Haynes, Yahoo Sports, a question for, for both of you. Dame, the officiating is not what it is in the NBA. Uh, there's a lot more contact. In it. How, is that something you guys are figuring out you have to adjust to? Because I see a lot of guys looking for certain calls that are, to pop um, points in the paint. Uh, is that a product of the roster? You know, you got a lot of perimeter-oriented guys, or you just you, do you think you guys can do more in that area? I um, mean, I think we all, as the game goes on, as as we continue to, to go through this process, we're figuring out um, the difference in the international game and the, and the game that we play. Uh, you know, today somebody fouled, took, they did a take foul, and everybody's screaming like, that's two shots. And I look at Draymond, and he like, what happened? So it's been five or six moments where we all looking around like, what's going on? And so we we learning on the fly. You know, it's, it's a lot of different different rules and as far as the paint, there's no defense of three seconds. So, you know, a lot of times, even if you do beat your guy, it's somebody waiting right there in the paint, and they never had to leave. So a lot of times the correct play is going to be to, to penetrate, and once that guy is there, you make the, the kick out uh, for a three. That's, that's the right play, and it's, it's easier to take away the paint um, when there's no defense of three seconds. And to answer your question, uh, that really happened a lot in the second half, getting beat in the paint. But that's why I say there are aspects of the game that I was really pleased with the improvement. Uh, the Nigerian team took 42 threes, and I think Australia took 24 uh, tonight. So we guarded the three-point line a whole lot better, which was one of the things we wanted to do. But in the second half, we lost our focus and concentration in the half court, and they got to the rim on slips and curls and that sort of thing uh, and sliced us in that regard. Uh, they execute well. They're really well coached, and uh, they – They've been doing that stuff for a long time, and uh, we got to take a look at it, and we'll learn from it. Coach, you had a little bit different starting lineup tonight, and I wanted to ask about Draymond. Um, you know, you've talked at length what he does defensively, but he also seems to run some good action with Damian on offense, and I'm just wondering if that plays into what you're – what you're looking for out of him. Yeah, that's what we're looking for out of him. But uh, the starting lineups don't, don't mean anything. We're just trying to put different combinations together just to see how they work because these guys have never played together before. So it's important during this preliminary uh, phase to see what we've got. Dame, just to clarify the question Chris asked you about physicality, the, the play you're talking about, was that the foul right in front of Pop with like 45 seconds to go or whatever it was when – that what they called it. I don't even know what they it, in, in in the league would have been a two shot foul at that point. You would have been going to the other end. Is that the play? In the league, it wouldn't about? have been a two shot foul. We would in, in the, the league. You were in the ball to take like people just take it to stop transition to make them take it out on the side. But I, it was a, it was in the first half. Oh, okay, that, that was thought it was one way. That's why I asked the question. No, that, you, I think you're talking about the play where Draymond stole it. I think so. And then they instead of two free throws, it was take it on the side. Right. Thanks. Sorry about that. Hey, Coach. Uh, Kelvin Johnson played 13 minutes tonight. Can you talk about some of the positive takeaways from what you saw from him against Australia? As far as Keldon's game? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I thought he performed well. Uh, he's a physical kid. Uh, he played good team basketball. He moved it, uh, you know, took appropriate shots. Uh, I thought he was real solid. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hi, guys. I'm starting with Dame um, Davide Kinelato here from uh, Italy, like at the sports. Dame, the ball movement was much better compared to the first game with Nigeria. It's just a matter of knowing each other better or you guys improved in, in other ways? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think the, the more time we spend on the floor together, the more, you know, we'll figure each other out and we'll figure out ways to um, to get the ball moving, uh, the ball moving. Uh, you know, we 
kind of overthinking, trying to run plays, you know, trying to stay out of each other's way and, and overly trying to do the right thing. But I think to start tonight, uh, our pace was was better. Uh, we pushed the ball up. We we kept it simple. We attacked. We was pitching it, making the extra play or the extra pass, sometimes too much. But um, I think that that just showed that we were moving in the right direction and, uh, you know, figuring each other out. Thank you. And coach, uh, you didn't play Kevin Love. Is there, is he all right? Is just a decision for you to try different combinations? Yeah, man, he's fine. He's healthy. Thank you. You're welcome. We have one, one final question um, from the Paul Dora Stevenson from NBC. Hey, coach, I'll start with you. I have more of like an overarching question about the starting lineup. What do you specifically want out of a starting group when you do finally get to that five? I want them to play well. I'm not sure what you're looking so, for. There. I want okay. them to be able to, you know, understand how to play with each other. A uh, good mix of defense and offense. Um, you know, hopefully the matchups are appropriate for the team we're playing. Uh, the starting lineup might change every game. Thank you. And then, Dame, well, I know you were you were talking about just the differences in the NBA and international basketball, and you were kind of listing off things. Is there one part for you that you feel like you're really still trying to adjust to? Mm. Oh, I think yep. defensively, defensively, um, just being able to reach in and kind of reach at the ball, even, you know, sometimes you reach in and you hit the ball. It seemed like uh, when you reach, it's automatically a foul. So you can, you can be more physical, like when you ride in a guy or uh, when you get into a guy's body. But it seems like um, if you reach in, you know, whether you make contact or don't make contact or somebody's driving to the rim and you swipe down at the ball. Um, a lot of times that's a play that can be made, but internationally is like automatically a foul. So it, it makes it a little bit tougher 